Yo, boy, so I have an incoming trade from Jay, and I'm gonna accept it, and he's actually gonna give me something insane. And just, dude, take a look at this, bro. He has one, two, red slime giant Goliath rockets, and dude, it's insane. So he's giving me one of these red slime rockets, and this is the best stat pet in the entire game. Like, this thing right here, you can't beat the stats on it, because it's red slime. I don't know if this thing is maxed out in level, but it's should be if not i can make it now the trades processing it just went through and there we go guys let's check it out now now i should have the rocket pet right here here it is and dude, it's still level one so i gotta max this thing out and it's 150 million stats as a level one once you max this thing out it should be like over 200 million or something like that so now that that's the only thing i got equipped i could go max it out with my 3.2k godly bones i'm guessing from how many times i've maxed out pets i think it takes around like 1.5 5k or close to 2,000 godly bones to max one pet out so i have way more than enough to do this so let's go consume all these and see what level it got to just to make sure it's working and right over here it's a 41 already it's just very hard to get it maxed out once it's like close to the 90s that's when it starts to take a lot of godly bones but we're already like pretty much halfway there so we're getting there pretty quick i'm probably turning on auto clicker on this and we should be there there's also you can see how many rocket pets exist in case you guys are wondering there's 55 that exist. Most of them are J's. J has like 40 of them or 50 of them in total in his inventory, I believe. So yeah, we're at level 55 now and let's get it maxed out. It's already at 191 million stats. All right, so finally I got it maxed out and I have 2.5k godly bones remaining. Anyway, this rocket pet maxed out red slime everything is 224 million stats. So that is insane. And I'm gonna get this thing to my noob account and see how fast I could beat the game. Also, I'm gonna have simply mo over here give me the best arm in the game too the best arm that's possible to get because some of you guys might be saying what about this buff diamond arm that's 1.4k base stats well that thing is pretty much impossible to get like just take a look at how rare that thing is and if we go to a platinum crate this thing is really good and it's 0.01 percent chance to get way more possible so anyway let's get these things on noob account create my noob account and see what we could do so he just sent me a trade i think he has an arm with them so the trade was broken in that server so this should work it should go through if it doesn't break i hope it doesn't because i think simply mo lost one of his gnomes when he was doing trades like this so the only thing is i just can't lose this arm all right process and i got it now this thing is 1725 percent so that's insane now i gotta swap all this to the noob account hopefully i don't lose any pets all right so here i am on my brand new noob account and this account literally has nothing nothing in the inventory no snacks literally nothing and i'm gonna go trade my main account right now I love how you don't have to have the same world to trade anymore. And I'm gonna get the very OP rocket pet and also the best arm in the entire game, the buff platinum arm. And that's all I need, okay? So I'm pretty much only starting my account off with one pet and I'm not giving even more pets, like no best grenades, no best friend damage or anything like that. Just a very OP pet and the best arm in the game. And this will give me a really big head start. All right, there you go, went through. I think this is the only way possible to beat this game in under 24 hours. So now, we got the awesome rocket pet right there sick and now let's equip the arm boom and let's see how much i get per click with this one dumbbell dude one kg all right guys with no game passes nothing i get 6.3 billion a click dude that's actually insane just from this with no game passes if i do need to to speed up the process a little bit more i will uh gift game passes, but we'll see i don't think i'll need to because of how op this is the wind is probably the only thing i'll have trouble with because like just take a look at this bro like I could obviously defeat this champion. But I need 15,000 wins to go to the next world. And I only get 625 wins every time. So the only hard part is getting wins. So I could also like get the, the two times wins potions over here that I don't have any of. And that thing I could probably get for free from the spinner. No, it's not even the spinner, dude. How could I get it for free? Is there actually no way of me getting that for free? There's a VIP thing over here. There's no way of me getting these potions for free. Nah, that's actually insane. So from my main account, I'll just gift my noob account double wins. I just received a gift. And then now I actually...
actually own the double wins game pass. So now if I defeat the champion, let's see how much I get. I should get double. So 1,200. Not bad. Okay. That is a lot better. I still need 15,000 wins. So to speed this up even more, so you have a double wins potion or winner winner pet. And I do not have winner winner pets. So that's the thing I got to work with, guys. I don't have any winner winner pets. Getting strength should be really easy. It's just getting wins will be very hard. We could claim a free tiny wins pack over here. That gives me like a couple hundred wins. Not really much. But if I play the game longer, I could get that. If I play the game for an hour, dude, I could get for free. I could get two, two times wins potions. I think that is for free. But he's got to play the game for an hour. Dude, that sucks. All right, let's stick here till we get 15,000 wins. All right, so here's my last one that I got to do. Defeated him. Now I'm in World 2. World 2 may be a little bit easier to get wins because all I needed, I think, is like 20 million or something like that. And I could easily beat this rogue AI. I just hope the rogue AI gives a lot of wins. I need 20 million to enter the next world. And I get 3.7 million every time. Okay, that's a lot easier. So this will be easy. I know that World 3 to defeat the Kraken, I need 5 trillion. So I might as well do some rebuild. Rebirth, a super reapers while I'm over here because getting five trillion in world three wins is gonna take a long time, so I might as well spend that time at least getting super reaper so I don't have a trouble on world five and six and all that stuff. In world three, I'm probably just gonna grind up super reaper. So, like right now, I'm in world three. I could check how much wins a kraken gives me. So let's just go grind this over here. The knuckles. I think knuckles would be the best if you grind up all of this. It might be the best. I'm getting trillions of strength right now. But if I do hand strength maybe hand strength is the best so let's go over to the hand strength i gotta get the best grip keep in mind i don't have vip game pass i don't have two times hand strength game pass or anything like that so i'm getting trillions okay that's not bad i feel like this is probably the best for free to play players so now i should get some trails and i need to get super reapers at rebirth so with 150 trillion i could defeat the mermaid king i want to defeat the shark so i'll probably get to like 250 or 300 trillion okay so this should be more than enough now we can auto fight the friendly shark right here there we go and and keep auto defeating this guy so I could get a lot of different trails, expensive trails. So, with like 2 billion, I could buy this police trail right here, dude. And let's see how much strength we get now. I'm at, oh, dude, almost 1Q. Dude, I only need 1.7 QA to defeat the Kraken boss. So, I could almost defeat him. And keep in mind, I don't even have rebirth right now. So, once I rebirth over here with all the wins that I have, let's see how much I get per click now. I get 2.3 trillion, dude. Plus all my multipliers over here. That's insane. Dude, be defeat the Kraken boss will be really easy right now and i can super reaper so you know what let's super rebirth right now that'll be worth it in world five and six i think i'll need to super rebirth because i'm gonna have to get a lot of strength and i only have three pet equips so i'll have to find some really good pets later too maybe some type trading i may have to do but yeah let's just keep super rebirthing all right here's our second super rebirth this is probably more than enough based on the pet that i have but just in case why not i mean doesn't really take that long plus i need to wait an hour anyway to get my two times wins potion so might as well do this while i wait because without a two times wins potion world four and five are probably going to be impossible or close to it i noticed myself getting actually a lot more shrink a lot faster and super rebirthing in general being really easy because just take a look at how much shrink i'm getting so right now i'm at two super reapers i just need to go up to like I may maybe five super reapers or something somewhere where it just gets a bit too hard but at the same time i mean i have nothing really else much to do because I still have to wait 40 minutes to get the two times wins boost, which will help me a lot because this Kraken boss only gives me 33.7 billion wins. And dude, I need 5 trillion just to get to the next world. So, I mean, getting enough strength to defeat this guy is really easy, but I mean, just imagine all the other worlds. So, I might as well just keep super rebirthing because it's actually very OP. And plus, it's pretty easy too. All right, here's my fourth super rebirth. And here's the fifth and final rebirth I'm probably gonna do. I think five is honestly enough and then now for a free gifts i have 16 minutes till i could claim the next one so right now let me just get to world five and might as well just keep grinding those wins till i get to five trillion it's probably gonna take a while so it's obviously gonna be a lot more worth it with those boosts but we'll see how far we can get with 16 minutes all right so now that i'm here i'm actually getting a lot of strength and everything i could do some normal reapers as well to gain strength even faster so like right now i'm almost at thousand percent and i'm getting so much a click dude 
dude, already enough to defeat that Kraken. And the Kraken gives me like 33 billion every time. And 11, no, actually 26 minutes, I could claim the two times wins potion and get even more wins, making it like 60 billion each every time. And that's without any winner winner pets. Keep that in mind too. And so now I could just auto fight this Kraken boss for like 30 minutes so I could claim that potion. And hopefully by then I get 5 trillion wins. I'm getting 33 every time. All right, so I got to 5 trillion and I could claim the gift in 9 minutes. So 10 minutes till that, guys. Now we could go to World 4. And I think World 4 is actually a little bit easier, especially with my Super Reapers. Let's get this barbell here. That's the best thing to grind over here. And I need to get 1.4 UI to beat the Mew and King. So to beat the Mew and King, I might have to get, obviously, a better trail. Maybe another game pass to make it a lot easier. And also probably just some normal Reapers over here that could just spam like this. Don't need to Super Rebirth because now I'm at 1,265%. And I'm actually getting a decent amount of strength every time. 175 trillion. And then with all my multipliers, I'm getting somewhere in the QAs. Like 10 QA every click. So that's actually pretty good. I just need to get 1.4 QI. Then need 50 QI wins, dude. How is this going to be possible? I really need those potions from my free gifts. Alright, so now I got way more than enough strength. I probably got enough for this. Yup, there we go. So now what I could do is actually use this potion. Oh, wait. Is it already being used? Bro, wait, what? No, wait. That was only a chance of actually a gold, but that's not a double wins potion. Wow, that was a waste. Okay. Anyway, let's do the Mew and King right here. And how much wins does this give me? I'm probably gonna have to buy it with Robux, dude. 480 QD. Okay, so I need 50 QI. Honestly, that's not that hard. I pretty much got to defeat this guy around 100 times. And then I'll be able to unlock the fifth world. Bro, the only hard thing in this, even if you have the best pet, like, strength is not a worry. Just getting wins is. And I'm pretty much free to play. The only thing I bought was double wins, which is pretty much just to speed up the wins process. That, that's all it is. So it's me pretty much free to play. Because I don't need the VIP game pass. I don't need the two times strength game pass. I don't need the rest of the game passes. I got way more than enough. I got 142 QI and we're in world 5 now. So we're escaping to the dino world and we're right here. So the mammoth, I need 207 QI. Oh my gosh, dude. That's actually insane. 207 QI. Is that possible to get without any game passes? I don't think so. Dude, and you need 1.1 1. 1 SP wins to enter this world 6 over here. The void. That's actually crazy. And keep in mind, I only got one pet, bro. So let's claim these free gifts over here so I can get some season 3 pets over here. Claim all of this. I just need everything. All this free stuff. Give it to me. Alright, we just got Omega right there. Claim all the wins. Everything. So I just got some more pets. Oh, these barely help, bro. They're not best friends at all. So they're barely helping. So those aren't even that good. I could do event eggs here. I do have a lot of event eggs. And all I need is really just best friend pets from here. That, that would be the best. But I doubt I'm getting any best friend pets from that because all of these pets over here are actually decent stats but no best friends i mean i could go to the enchanting table and enchant only thing is it's gonna cost me rebirth which probably isn't the best thing to do i could get a better trail right over here there we go and now i have even more strength let's try to beat this guy here just to see how much wins i would get from this if i were to beat like all the other bigger bosses i get three qn dude three qn any one sp bro the only hard thing about this game really is just getting wins because I can get strength up to 207. It's obviously just going to take me a while being free to play because I have no strength game passes at all. And I have no best friend pets. I'm only working with this best stat pet in the entire game and the second to best arm in the game. The buff diamond arm doesn't count because that's not even possible. Yeah, I don't think anyone even has that. Last time I saw Jay's inventory, he didn't even have it. And I could get some more pet equip over here by spending 130 Robux every time and then getting best friend pets. But that wouldn't really be possible if... If I don't spend any Robux. And that's the main point of this video. So yeah, me getting up to 207 QI to even have a chance to beat this mammoth. So realistically, probably 250, maybe 300 QI. And then getting one SP wins with the mammoth. Trust me, i done this many times before. You guys can check out my other restart videos. And when I got to World 6 and 7 on noob accounts, if you're doing it without any game passes or without any best friend winner winner pets and without spending any Robux in this game, I only spent it on double wins. Guys, trust me, that doesn't count, okay? All that does is speed up the amount of wins I get to enter these worlds, which I honestly just could have waited longer, but that elongates how long it takes me to record this video. And I want to get this video out to you guys. So anyway, if I were to do this without any Robux, but with this best stat pet, it would take me over 
24 hours, maybe even just overnight auto grind and stuff. It's just not possible for the video. So pretty much these best stat pets will help you get a lot of strength. It will get you a lot of strength with best friend pets, obviously. So it copies the same stats of these pets. If I have a best friend seven, dude, that's basically having uh two of these rockets, but just two even better versions of these rocket pets. Just remember that. And same goes with best friend eight, but just even better. Good luck for you guys that are free to play players. And if you guys do want some game passes, I can try gifting you guys. Just let me know your Roblox usernames in the comments. And you guys know, I need a nice looking thumbnail. So obviously I'm gonna need VIP so I can punch this punchy bag for the thumbnail. So obviously got that gifted. But yeah, for all those people wondering why am I punching these punchy bags the whole time? It looks good on thumbnail.